and welcome to Crime and Court. My name is Heather, and this is episode for this is actually a redo of episode 46. Unhinged, these are the real McAlberts. So we are going to discuss in this episode, and I apologize that the other one I was having audio issues, so this time we should be good. Um, so um so this, so today's episode that I'm redoing from Monday. It, I aired it Monday. So a Sunday night, Turtle Boy and his girlfriend, Meredith, who by the way, she's really um cute, smart, uh, really held her own in this situation. So I give her a lot of props. Um, so anyways, so Turtle Boy has a new girlfriend, her name's Meredith. I don't know how new the relationship is, but like he's just been talking about her recently. So um, now we know he's got a girlfriend named Meredith. And um, so she was out with him doing some investigative journalism over the weekend on Sunday night. And they happened to finish up and they were hungry. So they were in Canton. Did I say that already? And they were um, doing an experiment regarding Nicholas Garino's um, testimony because something something he said in his testimony bothered turtle boy so he went and he did some experiments and proved him wrong but anyways so aiden and his girlfriend they finish up with that and then they decide okay it's dinner time let's go out to eat so they wanted to go to cf mccarthy's which cf mccarthy's is the first location that karen and john were at that night before they went to the waterfall bar and grill so um, just for reference. So Turtle Boy, he had never been there. He's like, okay, let's go. So him and his girlfriend go and they run into um, the McAlberts. And I'll let him explain the rest and you'll see the wild and crazy behaviors of some, it almost seems like animals that are like cornered in a cage. Um, because I, I really believe truly that the walls are closing in on them, they're narrowing down. Uh, and um, it's getting hard to breathe for these McAlberts because Karen Reed is almost acquitted and, you know, we're almost there. And, um, hopefully, uh, we have some indictments coming soon after the Karen Reed trial is over and she's acquitted. So let's, um, let's start with the first video. He kind of, I'm going to let him play it on this impromptu live that he did. And he'll explain the different parts of the videos. And I'll play. We're not going to watch the whole thing. We're just going to watch some of it. So hopefully, um, here we go. Um, I, we went to, so whatever. I'll explain the Apple Health data shit later. Anyway, we're hungry, right? It's me and Meredith. And we, got, we went to CF McCarthy's because they have food there. That's it. We didn't go to bother anyone. We didn't go to do anything wrong. Nothing. We went there because we're hungry and I heard the food's good at CF McCarthy's and I've never been there before. And I'm an American citizen and I have rights and I can go to a restaurant if I want to go to a fucking restaurant. So I went to a restaurant and I went in there and I ate a whole- uh, Explicit language, by the way, Turtle Boy does cuss on his show I and use foul language. I don't mind it uh, myself, but if you do, just be aware. Um, yeah, so- a whole meal of food and it was good it was really good food in there i want to point out too that he says he he says oh, a meal of food multiple times i think it's really cute so i point that out in my description a meal of food <laughs> carthy's and i've never been there before and i'm an american citizen and i have rights and i can go to a restaurant if i want to go to a fucking restaurant so i went to a restaurant and i went in there and i ate a whole meal of food and it was good it was really good food in there yeah. and a bunch of people in there kept coming up to me taking pictures etc and it was cool and it's very flattering when that happens. And I thank these people very much. And they, people had great things to say. And I noticed across the bar diagonally from us was Juliana Nagel, the person who saw the black blob on the front lawn of, uh, who, you know, nine months later, remembered that she saw a black blob mm -hmm. on Brian Albert's front lawn. But she didn't say that in her original statements. It was only until after everyone questioned, well, why couldn't anybody see John laying there? You know, all these people were in the house, but nobody saw him. So that was their explanation to that. And she's taking pictures of me. And I knew she was the whole time. And I'm not doing shit with her because I'm being charged with witness intimidation against Julie Nagel. And I'm not going to bother her. So she ends up leaving. 
And then we go like 20 minutes later, we would walk out the door. I forgot the best part on the way in, on the way into the uh, restaurant, uh, we were seen uh, by Colin Albert was there. So we, I walk into the, um, Colin Albert. Okay. Hold on one second. I think I got one more video to send to myself here. So we need to see this video. Actually, I think I have this one already. Let me pull this one up. To walking in, I see Colin Albert. I didn't even recognize him at first. And because he's got like a hoodie on, he looks like he's dressed for the North Pole, and I don't recognize him. And he recognizes me and he says something like, I can't even go to my dad's pizza shop. And he pulls his phone out. So I pull my phone out. And I took a picture and then I started videoing it. And this is the video. This is what this is the video. This is actually not my video. This is Meredith tape this. Really, dude? Come on. What's up, man? Really? Yeah. Really? 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 So you got his phone? I can't just go get food at my dad's store. Okay, we're just going we're to see going to We're going to see if the car. He said something to me. Oh God, what's happening? We're just going to see if the car. Call the police. Call the police, he says. We're just going to dinner. Bro, Chill out, bro. Like we did nothing. We did absolutely nothing. We again, I'm trying to go to dinner. That's it. This guy's like, really, bro? Really, bro? And I look at I'm like, who is this guy? Really, bro? Oh shit, it's Colin Albert. Okay. And he takes his phone out. So I take my phone out, take a picture, and then, you know, I didn't get a good video. She got the video. So that's it. And he you heard him there. He goes, I'm calling the cops. You heard him there. Yeah. As soon as he got to the door and opened the door, he said, Call the cops. That's their way out of everything call the cops we know people in powerful positions so we can uh just screw it <laughs> act however we want um all right so next up he says that as as they were sitting inside juliana nagel if you remember she testified in this trial early on she's the one that said the blob the thing that she saw the blob but she was so wasted so she wasn't really sure what it was. And she said something, but nobody heard her. And so she didn't think anything of it. That was her explanation. So like a six foot black blob is what she described it as. That never came out until trial. She never said that until trial. In all of her statements previously, nothing like that was ever said. So we know she's a big liar. <laughs> Um, so anyways, Juliana Nagel happens to be at the bar, well, it's CF McCarthy's, it's a bar slash restaurant, restaurant. so she's sitting at the bar and taking pictures of Turtle Boy. This picture, but apparently Juliana Nagel is sitting over there and she is filming us. So yeah, like every time people would come over and ask me to take their picture with them, I would turn my back and that's when she would start filming, okay? And that's fine. She has a right to do that. It's a free country. She can film me if she wants to film me. I really don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. It's flattering. And so I, when we walk out of the restaurant, that's when things got interesting. All right. And I'm going to play some clips here. Again, it was like an 18 minute thing that I got in several pieces. All right. And I'm going to try to get the pieces here. Hold on one sec. It starts out with them being creepy with Meredith. So just keep that in mind. And remember, Turtle Boy can't do anything to these guys because if he does like the slightest even thing that like the scintilla of harassment they would you know call the cops and have him arrested but he wasn't even there for them he didn't even know colin was going to be there he walked past the restaurant not even knowing that colin was there so as he pulls in or walks into the restaurant that's when colin sees them and then they go into CF McCarthy's and Juliana Nagel is at the bar. Then they finish their meal and some people come up and start talking to Meredith or at least one guy at least. And um, he's kind of creepy. And guess what his last name is? Nagel. Not Ryan, but we will see Ryan in here too. All right, give me one sec to pull these videos up. Ryan Nagel also testified he was the one that was supposed to pick up Juliana Nagel at 34 Fairview that night. He arrived there with his sister, uh, I'm sorry, with his girlfriend and his friend. His friend was driving, his 
girlfriend was in the back seat and they were going to pick up Juliana because she texted them um, like around 12 to come get her. When they finally get there, uh, she comes outside and she says, oh, why don't you come inside instead? And tries to entice all the people to come in for the party. And then they don't want to come. So then she says, okay, well, I'm going to stay here and get her, and just stay here for the night. And then she gets a ride home at 1.30. So, which is it? <laughs> there were so many different options for her that night to get home. And it was just a little bizarre how it all panned out. But anyways, so that's Julie, Juliana Nagel. Ryan was the one that was picking her up. And now we meet Sam Nagel. If you have videos of these incident, feel, incidents, feel free to send them to me on Facebook. Those are the only make Facebook messages I want right now. No advice, nothing. Just send them. Okay? Like getting, he puts his arm around her. This guy. Like, this and as it turns out, this Nagel. is Ryan and Julie Nagel's brother. Sam, he introduced himself as. And he touched her. Now, what he wants me to do is, like, fight him, right? Because I'm on bail. And that, I'm not going to give them that reaction. I mean, that sucks. That you can't stand up for You know what I mean? That you can't stand up for I can't, like, like, it's like, it sucks. It's a shitty feeling. But I'm not going to jail. And this is, and then Ryan Nagel comes over. And by the way, Ryan Nagel, uh, yeah, his testimony is great. He's a piece of shit. We found that out today. He's an asshole. Like, he gave great testimony. He told the truth. But watch what happens here. Did you just touch her, bro? Yeah. Did you just touch her? Maybe a little fucking soft. She doesn't want you to touch her. Yeah, What the fuck's wrong with you? We need a nice conversation. I just didn't why are you touching her? I don't know why I'm just talking to her. You just touched her, bro. I'm asking why she's with a fucking loser like you. Why are you touching her? He's not a loser. He's a good like person. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think he's such a loser. Fucking fucking up with like yeah, a loser like that. Like, get the fuck out of here. What? You don't like can't? No one wants you here. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This is Ryan Nagel, the other one that was just talking was Sam Nagel. You're a loser guy. You're a loser guy. You and all your fans are big fucking losers. That's a fucking loser. I love the town of Kansas so much. He has to come hang out here. Get the fuck out of here. You're a fucking loser. Like, why can't he be in the town of Canton? I don't get it. Because you think he's a loser? <laughs> Whatever that is. So he's not allowed in your town. Okay, makes sense. This yes. is what we came out to outside. It's as it turns out, this is Chris Albert Jr., Juliana Nagel, Colin Albert, and then Chris Albert. This okay, I don't know if you can can I zoom this in any further. Oops, no, that's not better. Hold on. I wish I could make it bigger. It's not gonna work. Anyways, um, is Ryan Nagel? So Ryan's in the red shirt. Sam's in the gray. On this bench, we have Chris Albert Jr. So this is the oldest of Chris and Julie Albert's kids. And then you got R Juliana Nagel. She's out there on the bench now. And then standing up with his arms crossed like he's some hard ass is Colin. And then behind him, coming out of the pizza shop, is Chris Albert like the senior Chris Albert. So he just hangs out with a bunch of like 20 something kids, I guess. I don't know. And I guess this is Sam Nagel. Loser. Loser. Keep going. Have fun. Have another beer. What are you doing? Remember, they just came outside after eating a nice meal and they get the Sam Nagel coming up to her and touching her and doing things that they don't want. And they're just standing there waiting to leave. And people, you know, there had been like people trying to get his autograph and things like that too. So whatever, but they come out and that's what they are greeted with is this gang of goons, as I'm going to call them along with um, the fact that, you know, they were doing, Inappropriate things with his girlfriend. It's fucking loser. In this. You're a loser too, by the way. I'm sorry. You're beautiful, but you're a fucking yeah. loser. He calls her a loser and then objectifies her by saying she's beautiful, but a loser. So he's a piece of shit. Not as big a loser as this. So that's videotape one. 
videotape too. So again, you, they, they, this is what they do. Keep in mind, this is what they do in broad daylight. When there's, um, you know. When there's people watching, this is what they do in broad daylight. When there are people watching and phones recording, imagine, imagine what they did to John when no one was there watching other than their own clan of goons. You'll see. Lots of, you know, lots of people around broad daylight sober. Broad now daylight. imagine what they do to somebody who walks into a house on Fear If You Road drunk, like, you know, John O'Keefe. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens. So Jim Ferris then arrives. Notice there's Chris Albert filming, smiling. These are the same people who claim they're scared of me. And this is what Jim Ferris does. Watch him right here. So Jim, Jim Ferris, that's this gentleman here. So, okay, he's going to be rushed by a bunch of people, which is that another Albert boy, I think. I don't know. Maybe the, aren't they twins? Don't they have twins? Chris and Julie have two twin. I don't know. Anyways. Someone's got twins. So this is this bald guy here is. Oh my god, I'm just totally blanking on his name now. <laughs> um, what is it? Jim Ferris. Jim Ferris. He works for D and E Pizza. He's a delivery driver, apparently. I don't know. I I don't know much else about him other than that. But he is going to assault Turtle Boy in a minute here. <laughs> that's when Jim Ferris hits the phone out of my hand. He assaulted me. So that's from my perspective. That's from my perspective. He hit the phone into the middle of the street. This him walking up, tosses it, hits his hand, tosses his phone into the street. Luckily, it uh, still, you know, was fine. And um, he was he was live too on Facebook Live because once they all started with him, he he went live so that he had protection. You got to protect yourself in these situations. Look what happened with Lindsay. And that was all he said, she said, and she lied. So you got to protect yourself. Didn't break, luckily. But that's clearly assault. He's being charged with assault. I think Chris Albert Jr. should be charged with assault, too, because they both, they all came at you charging. I would be scared at that. Like, that's, I don't know. I would be intimidated by that. And they're, they're yelling something about that baby won't have a dad. Hold on one sec. Yeah. All right, we can skip Needle. through all this. Again, what was our crime? We, we came and we ate food at a restaurant. That's a crime. Um, Can't do that. That baby won't have a dad. That baby won't have a dad. So this is the new nonsense that I won't even humor or feed into. I mean, this, we're dealing with children. They're like, telling you, your baby's not going to have it. First of all, there's no baby. This is just nonsense. Uh, and our baby's not going to have a dad. He's a woman beater, all this shit. He's going to jail. They're mocking me. They, they think this is funny. Mm -hmm. They think this is funny. These are victims of witness intimidation, allegedly. Mind you, Turtle Boy has, what, like 16 counts of witness intimidation, felony witness intimidation on him because of these assholes that say they're scared of Turtle Boy. Nobody here is scared of Turtle Boy by the way that they're acting. And they even say it on film. So there goes those witness intimidation charges out the window. Look at this. Wow, you're just trying to leave and go to our car. They're all coming after us. Oh, my God. So that was the other person perspective of it not from turtle boy but from um either meredith or someone else who was filming oh, oh my god oh we have all of this on our for the blog we got oh my video, god right? he just not we got that on video right we got that on video Jimmy. thank you what's your name in case we need brother. another witness to this people start coming out of the restaurant and say well we saw that we'll give you we'll vouch for you we'll be witnesses for you these are the dumbest criminals on the face of the earth they're doing this in broad daylight with a crowd and phones recording them 
Well, this was actual assault. Yeah, this is They seem really intimidated. They seem really intimidated. They seem really intimidated. Wait, I heard you were a lesbian. You actually was just standing out here. Beautiful girl. What are you doing? I heard you molested your own children. You just touched your pussy. So there's that. Jim Ferris is a, an employee of uh, D and E Pizza. That's what Jim Ferris is. So there's that video. All right. Um. All right, here's the next one. Take a walk down here. Take a 10 foot walk down here, buddy. Take a little walk. Take a little walk. You got balls, right? Little fucking five foot nine, man. You got balls. Who's intimidating who? Take a walk. Come on. He's so he's telling me to take a walk down here. So, like, you know, so they can beat me up or something, right? Like, take a walk down here. I'm not going to do that. They're trying to antagonize me. I'm not going to give it to him. I'm not going to give it to him. He keeps putting his hand on people. Like, dude, keep your hands to yourself, you creep. Put your phone in front of me again. Put your phone in front of me again. Put your phone in front of me again. I want to point out, Jim Farris, if you're watching, bro, the day after I wrote about you, your wife called me crying. All right, we don't care. Talk in front of his hands so I get a better... We absolutely will not, Jimmy. We absolutely will not. Talk in front of his hands so I get a better view of it this time from doing it. I'll go wherever I please. Wherever I please. You were trying to leave here and, like, you got you literally got assaulted by Jim Farris. How's that nutty Better than um, the jail you were in for killing a man in 1994. Ooh, right. Oh, what a deep fucking hit. How'd you pay your tax bill? Chris Albert took the life of some man who, a 20, like a 20, he was in his 20s, college student, I think, young man who, uh, Chris Albert went uh, out drinking and driving one night, and uh, he ended this guy's life. Uh, and uh, Turtle Boy says his name. I can't remember what it is. All right, so I don't have a million small things. This is, this like is a selector. Right. Yeah. Who are you? Who am I? You know who the fuck I am. I didn't know who this was. Who am I? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What? I think um, he's the older elder. Chris Albert Jr., I think, right? Oh, wait, Albert Jr.? Oh, gotcha. I think the mustache. You guys seem really intimidated. You guys. You don't know who I am? It's like, no, Chris Albert. You're Jr. You're a nobody in this story. Really you guys seem really take intimidated. Take a walk. Take a five-step walk. Do walk. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to scare you. I don't want to intimidate. I don't want to scare you guys. I know you guys are really scared of me. So there's that. Now we're gonna watch my. So I eventually start taping it right around that time. I'm gonna show you my perspective of it over on Facebook. Live from there frequently. Go live from. Pick it up. Nope. Not intimidated at least. So yeah, we got there. Oh, yeah, they said that. You all right, so what you guys seem really intimidated. You got data. I don't want to skip. We don't not intimidated at least. So yeah, we got there. Oh, I'm surprised to see Ryan down here like this. Now we're gonna see Bill Dance. Yes, he was. Yes, he Somebody was. Else. And I didn't say shit. I'm hey, not Someone in a car driving by said Colin was in the house, and that's Turtle Boy going, Yes, he was. No, that woman said Colin was in the house. I'm just trying to eat a meal. I we are just we are just trying to we just went in here. We're just trying to eat. We're just trying to eat. I hope you're ready to hear the words not guilty, right? Get ready for the words not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. Get used to those words. You're going to hear it this week. Not guilty. Three times you're going to hear that shit. Not guilty. Not guilty. Get ready. Get ready. It's coming. So anyway, anyway, right. went in here to eat. It was lovely. It was protection right now. Well, my own production. The people that claim they're intimidated by me were out here harassing me, just assaulted me. These people claim they're so scared and they're so intimidated by little old me. Little old me. Nobody said that, though. I'm glad you said that no one's scared. My lawyer's going to love that one. My lawyer's going to love that one. Assaulted, so I mean, your goons just assaulted you. me. No one's scared of you. Yeah, assaulted. Yeah, when you hit... I'm being... Like, these people are saying... These people went to the police in front of a grand jury, and in order to have me charged with witness intimidation, you have to say you're scared. Chris yeah. Albert said he was scared in front of a judge in Stone District Court when he tried and failed to get an order on me. These are adults. Yeah. And they're the aggressors, obviously.
I know. I'm so little, bro. I'm so little. I, I'm so little. I know. I know. I'm so little. I know. I get it. I know. Well, I'm, I feel like I'm something. I feel like I, I feel like I'm something because you guys know who I am. You guys know who I am because you're a nobody. I'm a pedophile. Okay. 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 Sure thing. Sure thing. Sure thing. Sure thing. Sure thing. So they seem really scared. It's crap. Yeah, I mean, it's worth it to come and yell at us. I mean, we were just minding our, we just, so we were just trying to mind our own business. So, so Chris is like, instead of being the adults and being like, guys, come on, this is bad. I'm an elected official in town. I own a pizza shop. He comes out to his, who, to his kids, who are his friends, you know, and, and he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How about this fucking guy? Oh, he's a pedophile. Oh, pedophile. And this is a grown man. This is a grown man. Yeah. Crying victim. I can't wait to show this to a jury. You take a picture of who? Oh, I took a picture. Yeah, you're allowed to take pictures. Taking a picture is instigating? No, Colin was leaving and then he decided Taking to Taking a picture? So you're... I'm sorry, but he looks like a pedophile with that little mustache. So what? So what? What did I do? He came up to us. We were walking in. I backed the blue. Justice for... I mean, does this guy look scared to you? I backed the blue. That's Chris Albert. Bro, your family killed the cop. Fuck you. You don't back shit. You kill the blue. That's what your family does. You kill the blue. Look at this guy. He says he's scared of me. What a liar. Peter Burger. You'll beat my face. You'll beat my face. Justice for Peter Burger. You'll beat my face. You'll beat my face. You could, right? You seem really intimidated. You seem really intimidated. I'm glad you said that. I'm. Justice for Peter Berger. So in two seconds, he would something with this face, like up and down the street or something. And then he's like, "Oh, I'm glad that you said you could do that." He's like, "I not could or not would that I could do it." So whatever. I don't know. Oh. Uh. Can you believe these people? The world is watching them. And this is how they act. Grown adults. You'll beat, I'll beat your face up and down the sidewalk in two seconds. That's what he said. I will That's beat your said. face up and down the sidewalk in two seconds. This is a guy who has the audacity to go to the police and go in front of a grand jury and say he's scared of me, that he's intimidated. He's also a selectman of the town of Canton. He was elected as a selectman. He's on the board of selectmen. However, whatever they do, they basically run the town. They oversee money. They oversee the events and things that happen in the town. So, um, yeah, this guy is a selectman going around and threatening to beat Turtle Boy up on video. And this is supposed to be acceptable. Honestly, if I were you guys in Canton, I would be holding up my signs and asking Chris to to uh, step down, to uh, resign from his role as selectman. I would be doing the same with all of the law enforcement and Michael Morrissey and Adam Lally if I was in Cant Canton. I'm not. I'm in Chicago and I'm disabled and I can't really make it out there. So I hope someone one of you in Canton gets the idea to do so and um, takes it from there because the more pressure you put on these people, the better. They need to go. They divide me. On film, he says, I will beat your face up and down this sidewalk. An elected official in town said that. I came to the Canton and I spent money on, this is an elected official, right? I'm an out of towner. I came here, I just stimulated your economy, brother. This business pays taxes, unlike your business. Yeah. I'm not going to let him talk for or get into all the Turtle Boys rants, but isn't that interesting? Selectman who threatens people out of towners when they come to his town and spend money. My fate, you'll, you could, yeah, you seem really intimidated. You seem really intimidated. I'm glad you said that on film. I'm glad you said that on film. Oh, really? They got, see, just in case you were entitled to feel bad for these people at all, this is who they really are. Look at these animals. Look at these goons. Look at these goons. 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 I'm actually with somebody in the. I don't know. I feel like she's somebody. I know. Under Armour is gay as shit. I know. It's gay. I'm so My clothing is gay, he said. Actually, I'm not the I don't think I'm involved. For what kid? I don't know, Colin. I feel like of the two of us, I'd be a little more worried about jail. Yeah, listen to what Colin says to me. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm so gay. 
Actually, I'm not the I don't think I'm a bomb. For what kid? I don't. So he gets Colin says to me, "You're going to be in jail for your kids." I can't. That's hear what he says. You're going to be in jail for your kids. That's what Colin Albert just said to me. You're going to be in jail for your kids. Colin Albert was inside the house when John O'Keefe was murdered. Yep. Colin Albert more than likely had something to do with the murder of John O'Keefe. Yep. Colin Albert was hidden from the police and not interviewed for 18 months after the murder of John O'Keefe, despite being inside that house. Yep. Never spoken to because his close family friend Michael Proctor never told anyone that he's close friends with Chris Albert, with Julie Albert, with Jill Daniels, and with Colin, who he's known since he was born. That's why Colin Albert was never interviewed by the police. But Colin Albert was inside that house when John O'Keefe was murdered inside that house. And he's sitting here telling me that my kids aren't gonna be around when he goes to jail. Can you believe the audacity of these people, these yeah. cop-killing maggots? Whatever disgust you have for them, I assure you it's not nearly enough. It is not nearly enough. It gets better. Oh, Colin, I feel like of, of the two of us, I'd be a little more worried about jail if I was you, son. I don't, I'm just saying, I feel like I'm gonna be good. Yeah. I, are you scared? I thought you were intimidated. I'm, I'm just trying to eat dinner, bro. I'm just trying to eat dinner. I come out of here, there's a goon. Well, you got assaulted by your goons. Oh, I'll have a chance, please. Now we're going on 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Then they start yelling at this guy. Mighty Mouse over here. Yeah, we're just trying to. I, I just came out of yelling at them. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Yeah. Well, he's yelling at him. He's like, I'm an American. I'm allowed to do what I want. You go on the sidewalk. The dude's like, I'm an American. I can go wherever I want. These people really think they run everything, dude. They mm -hmm. think they run everything. I just got dinner and I come outside and I got assaulted by Jim Farris. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. Do you drug your girlfriend? I just got dinner and I come outside and I got assaulted by Jim Farris. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. He goes, yo, do you drug your girlfriend? And he's out here. Yo, do you drug your girlfriend? Does he seem scared? Does he seem intimidated at Not all? Because Colin Albert told the police, he told Michael Proctor that he was scared of me, that I made him sad, that he had to drop out of Bridgewater State because I made him sad. He had to tell the police that. That's in writing. I've never, Colin. ever had to say anything like that, that I had to drop out of college because another grown man on the internet made me scared. I've never, I got way too much pride to say that. Way too much pride. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm not pregnant, but unfortunately for your friend Lindsay, we would actually have a baby. We wouldn't get an abortion because she's trapped. We'd actually talk about this. Well, the baby wasn't real, so there was no abortion. Okay. Yeah. These are the victims. Yeah. These are people who are. They're so intimidated, guys. They're so intimidated. No, we did not come We're here. We're not harassing nobody shit. Nobody wants to come to your place of business. We're not harassing nobody shit. Nobody wants to come to your place of business. Yeah, nobody wants the media. Yeah. We're good. We got real food. We got real food. We're good. We got some real food. Just like nobody else is coming to your business. So we are down here, guys. And uh, I don't know. We just went and we just, again, we are just getting here. I'll explain what I was doing later. We go. It's supposed to be a representative. The rape. Ah. People that are like surrounding them start even yelling at these guys like you're supposed to be a representative and that other guy that was like i'm an american i can do what i want like stand up to these people they're such bullies they are the biggest bullies how's officer wade you are supposed to be a representative this is a, yeah, that's, a, that's the chairman of the board of selectmen right there he's not a chairman the cha oh whatever he is he's on the he's board of selectmen so it's an elected I'm official a, i am a resident of canton did. Yeah. Did you get a chance to call? I did. They're oh. On their way. oh, they are. Cool, yep. cool, cool. Chris. Justice for Peter Berger. Why Justice for Peter Berger. Peter Berger is the gentleman whose life was lost by Chris Albert from drunk driving. Peter Berger is the man he killed in 1964. Oh, here come the cops. Who caught you on you're, you're, I mean, not, you're not a woman. You look like a dude, he says. I mean, by the way, Ju and you see Juliana Nagel laughing like that? Look at Juliana Nagel. He says, you look like a dude. Juliana Nagel laughing about that, bitch. You weigh 280. And laugh at Juliana Nagel is that you got up on that stand and you lied. You, you said that there, you saw a black blob, a six foot black blob on the lawn. You said that. And you didn't tell anyone that. You didn't tell the police that, nothing. The next day when you saw a dead, you saw, oh, there's a dead body there. You didn't tell police about a black blob. 
she is such trash. Juliana Nagel is a fucking. That's remarkable. Who is the outside? I know. We'll find out. Oh, here we go. Protection here. And then Jill, all of a sudden, we're going to get this from a couple angles. This is when Jill Daniels arrived with something. This is now the second assault on Turtle Boy of the evening. Somebody named Cynthia something. Somebody sent me the name Cynthia something. So they sent me a name of this woman, and she, um, you'll see. You'll see what Jill Daniels does when she jumps out of the car. Oh, boy. Jill Daniels. Oh, there she is. She's, that was a good freeze frame. So Jill Daniels is about to get out. She's getting out of this white SUV right here. She is the sister of Julie Albert. So she's Colin's aunt. Okay. So she's Julie. She's Chris is her brother-in-law. And uh, she, her and Turtle Boy go way back. They, they've they talked on the phone and stuff in some of his episodes. And it was kind of funny. She's just screaming at him and calling him a loser. Oh, look who it is. Look who's here. Here she is. You know what? I'm so sick of shit. She stole my phone. Oh, I'm sick of your shit. Okay? Enough is enough. You are a prick. Can I have a kid? Have a kid. 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 Have a and no, I'm yeah, sorry. Did you go to Luby? Did you go to Luby? Shut the fuck up. No one else. Go ahead and have a phone back. Go ahead and have a phone back. Give me the phone. Give me the phone back. Give me the phone back. Give me the phone back. Okay, so that just happened. That just happened. That just happened. I have wrinkles. I don't care. But guess what? I have a good heart. You have a great heart. You're going to jail. And I cannot wait. And guess what? You're going to be without a boyfriend. Because this prick is going to jail. I mean, I'll be with my wife longer than you. You're just gonna die. Okay, don't even worry about it. She's not worried. She's, oh, this I is a trap. Just let her. Just let her talk. Just let her talk. Just let her right talk. Now. Just let her talk. Right just let her talk. Don't, even talk, don't even talk back. Don't even talk back. Don't even talk back. Who are you yelling at? <laughs> Who are you? Like, look at you. How many times you got punched in the nose? How I don't you know. Your teeth, you make one of my teeth. Yours is shit. No, it's mostly your skin. But okay. My skin, yeah. I have wrinkles. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I my teeth. Teeth. how many skin ones do you have? Has anyone said that for you? A bunch. No, they don't like you. They don't. Okay, if you say so. No, she's not dying. I, I can't imagine why. I can't imagine why anyone would want to tape you. Your behavior is normal. No one's harassing anyone. I'm just trying to eat dinner. Why are you here? Because I'm hungry. Because who's harassing who? Oh my god, she's so sick of the harassment. Well, then stop harassing. But they serve food in here. Because I want food. Because when you're hungry, you eat food. I am. I'm just trying to eat food. I, cause they, I got assaulted by Jim Ferris. We're walking out. Some people ask me to take pictures. And next thing you know, Jim Ferris comes up to me and assaults me. You just you drove up here. Look at this shit. You're double parking. Because they killed John O'Keefe. Yes, they did. They obviously killed John O'Keefe. I was not there, but Colin was. I did not kill John O'Keefe. Are you guys coming? All right. We'll see. I'm going to. Oh, there she is. I mean, I can't believe this is real life. This all just happened. Like, I just go out to dinner. I know. I can't believe what's happening right now either. As I was watching this on the live when it happened, I was like, these are the dumbest criminals on earth. And I can't even eat dinner. Now check this out from another angle. So this is when I roll up. This is when she rolls up. This when is not, this, this is her filming. This is what this happened. Is I mean, dude, this was crazy, angle. dude. Oh boy. You are a fucking prick. You know what? I'm so sick of your shit. Oh my god. Look at that shit. Wow. A wild animal. Oh boy. You are a fucking prick. You know what? I'm so sick of your shit. Yo, see that? Look how mad she is. You know what? I'm so sick of your shit. Look at that. There it is. See that, Jill? That's assault. So, Jill Daniels and Jim Ferris, the police, are both being charged with assault and battery. For what they've done to us. That's a crime. That's a crime. They didn't get John O'Keefe on film. We got you on film. But imagine what this is what they do on Main Street. Yeah, these guys act like I don't even want to call them animals because that's too nice of a word. They're 
they're, they're unhinged. They literally have no accountability for themselves. I cannot believe this is happening. The world is watching them. The world knows that they did something to John O'Keefe. And yet they still behave like this. Crazy. With people watching and filming. So now Jill, Jill Daniels is going to be a charge with assault and battery. My assault and battery charge was dropped because it was fake. Yeah. Oh, 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 my oh, oh my God. Wow. Yeah, they are. Give him his phone back. Give him his phone back. You look better than me. Nobody cares. Girl, you look like you haven't had a meal since 1983. She's super skinny. She doesn't eat, I think, and she probably does some drugs to keep her that way. Give him his phone. Yeah, she's, she's she's normal. Speculation on my part. I don't know. Hey, I'm just showing. Well, no, like, I'm my phone back. Give him my phone. I'm still alive. Back. I'm still alive. Give him his phone. You have his property. Give him his phone. Give him his phone. You can't steal his phone. Are you kidding me? There you go. He throws it on the ground. And I'm still alive. And I was still alive. You are a loser. Yeah, you said that before. I don't care. But guess what? I have a good heart. You are a person who's going to jail. And I don't know what you're going to be with my boyfriend. Because this prick is going to jail. No, I'm not. I mean, I'll be with my boyfriend longer than you. Well, you're just gonna die. Okay, don't years, right? You are. Oh, I'm just psycho. Do you have to be yelling right now? You have to be yelling right now. Guess what? She's not here. Don't even talk back. Don't even talk back. Don't even talk back. What are you yelling at? Who are you? Like, look at you. How many times you got punched in the nose? How many of your teeth that you make fun of my teeth? You have the chick like most of your skin. Zoom in on the skin. Once she got started, she was just. She had to keep going. She was just like, okay, I'll throw out some more insults. I don't care. Guess what? I stick up my people. How many siblings do you have? Has anyone stuck up to you? No, they don't like you. They don't like you. You guys can all tame me. Like, why are you taming me? Grow up. You're rising up and assaulting people. I'm so sick of you guys and my family. No one's harassing anyone. I'm just trying to get it. Why are you here? You don't want to be How is this allowed? How is this happening? Well, why don't you just leave everyone alone? I am. I'm just trying to eat. Why are you helping your doctor? I'm just I am. Like, this whole thing. This whole thing about why don't you just leave everything alone? Bro, I didn't do anything. I literally walked into CF McCarthy's. It's because you're digging into their secrets and they don't like it. So they're like, just leave everything alone. Just let it be. Let Karen go and do time for a crime that we committed. Don't worry about it. Just let it be. Colin said something to me. I took a picture to protect myself. And he called, he says he's calling the cops. We go on our merry way, we eat dinner. Juliana Nagel's filming me in the bar. I don't say shit to her. We try to walk out. I take pictures with some fans. And then next thing you know, there's this goon, this mob of goons sitting there like tough guys and starting shit with me. Yep. And Jim Farris assaults me and I did nothing wrong. And they're standing there waiting for law enforcement to arrive. After Jim Ferris assaulted Turtle Boy, they called law enforcement. They called to have someone come out so they could put it, so they could make a report. Because, as we know, with these McAlberts, they like to lie and misstate facts. So, of course, he's going to want to get a record of it. He's going to want to get a report of it. So he called law enforcement to report Jim Ferris, but then they happen to show up while Jill's still going batshit crazy and um they the law enforcement has to break this up. Wrong. I'd be victim. These did that and they're sober. Imagine what they do when they're drunk. So they were not I have muted. Um what was I gonna say? So I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Yes, he's lying. Oh, he's lying. Why don't you lie? 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 No, they did yes, not. Yes, they did. We yeah. obviously killed John O'Keefe. No, they did not. I was not there, but Colin was. I did not kill John O'Keefe. Colin was not there. Who? So he got assaulted. He got assaulted. I saw him. I took his phone. 
Yeah, I took his phone. Finally, 17 minutes later, guys. Thank you. That's why you posted. Why do you care? You didn't know John. Why do you care? Why do you care you didn't know John? So I guess we just shouldn't care about Boston police officers that die on the front lawns of other Boston police officers mysteriously. We shouldn't care. So it's Wait, okay what? that you killed them. Oh, oh. Continue all you want. I don't care. No, I'll sit down for my family. I don't want to stop you. You got it. I don't want to stop you. You're a fucking dick. Go fucking go away. Why are you here? Like, go away. You drove up here. You drove up here. We got it on video. We got it all on video. Yeah, I, I, I grabbed your phone. I don't no, care. No, she's not 48. She's like 44. She's 44. Minding her own business. 44. And these guys are all sitting right here waiting for you. And the guy wasn't even protecting us down yeah, there. Yeah. So the Chinese gym fires and goes up there. You think the last part of the two? Not the Jill Daniels one. All right, so I. That's pretty much where I'm going to leave you guys. If you do want to see full episode or full video, he does have multiple videos. He's got he's got one where they took all the clips and like put them together. He's got ones where um you see just Meredith's perspective. So definitely check out Turtle Boy Live and go check those videos out if you want to see um uh even like a crowd forms you can see so that it does go on even more and um rita shows up rita lombardi who we all love she's also the face of canton i was going to just show you like the crowd that showed up but i can't find it oh here he was he was signing kids kids wanted autographs so they were like here just sign my chest i'm taking their shirts off and he was signing their chest it was cute where did i go Oh, this officer. So, where'd he go? Oh, these are all fans wanting to get pictures and stuff with Turtle Boy. Where'd the officer go? The one officer, actually, this one, who he's talking to, you can see his face. He actually was in the um, Canton 9. He came up to the Canton 9, and this guy. Uh, he came up to the Canton 9, and told them all to leave because they were disturbing Chris and witness intimidation and blah, all that. Uh, but he's a nice guy. He just happened to be out there and took the, happened to get the call to go out and do what he had to do. So anyways, that is um, basically the story with Jill Daniels, crazy, wacky Jill Daniels, and the rest of the gang of goons in the McAlbert clan. I guess you cannot be pro Karen Reed and go to CF McCarthy's without getting attacked. And people have worn free Karen Reed stuff within the premises and have been spoken to or like words have been said to them, sexually harassed by like people like Chris Albert and other Alberts that happened to see them in those um, clothing in clothing and things that would show that they're supporting Karen Reed. It seems like pro Karen supporters are not welcome down this block, at least if the gang of goons is sitting outside or around, which it seems like they probably always are. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you like that. I, again, if you caught this and the sound was bad previously, I apologize. I hope I made it up to you. Um, all right, definitely get this out there. Share it. Let people know these are the real McAlberts because uh, the people that they tried to portray to us on the stand, not so much. This is the real them. And this is what happened to John that night, tw January 29th. 2022 happened. He was basically circled by all of them and they took him down. That's what I believe and know by the evidence. So hopefully um, we get a acquittal very shortly. Take care and I will see you guys. Oh, and by the way, this is going to go, this video is going straight into the closing arguments video. So um, don't go anywhere and this will stream right to it. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.
Bye now. If you've been impacted by a true crime and would like your story told in your own words, or if you or someone you know has been wrongfully convicted or accused of a crime, please write to crimeandcourtchannel at gmail.com and tell us your real true crime encounters. Thanks for watching.